so as requested i'm back with uh, the formats of formal letter informal letter and notice in email with proper spacing and with uh, examples from past year papers so let's start so i have taken the formal and informal letter topics from the 2017 english language paper of icsc class 10th so let's begin so i have already posted the formats in uh, show as shorts on my channel so if you haven't then you can check them out uh, so we write the receiver's address first in formal letter so i have written uh, so the question actually in the paper says a number of loose electric wires are hanging from a lamp post near the main gate of your school write a letter to the municipal co uh, commissioner explaining the problem the danger it poses and suggest a quick solution i have written all the questions that i'll be solving in this video in the description box below so you can go check them uh, so we have written the receiver's address here so municipal uh, municipal uh, commissioner then mu municipal corporation and uh, the city then you leave a line and you write the date then again you leave a line and you write dear sir or whatever dear ma'am you write comma and then you start from the next line immediately you don't leave a line all right and you don't leave a space uh, and you just directly start writing so i have written uh, now you have to explain or you just telling him in the first paragraph that why are you uh, writing the letter what is the purpose of writing the letter so you will write i would like to draw your attention towards the loose electric wires hanging from a lamp post near the main gate of our school so this is why you writing the letter so this is the purpose then next line meaning now the next you uh, starting the next paragraph and you will be explaining all the problems um you know in each uh, in a different paragraph so the first problem the children using the school main gate may play with the wires without knowing the intensity of the current flowing in the, in them that possesses a serious threat to their lives so this is problem number 1 since the question specially mentions that where are these uh, loose wires where are they hanging basically uh, near the main gate of your school so you have to mention something uh, some problem uh, related to you know the school uh, also like how the school children uh, you know it's a danger to their lives so you are have mentioned the, that point then second it pos uh, it poses danger to the lives of the birds which may come in contact with these loose wires so second is the bird now third the wires may may be exposed at any point which uh when uh, come in contact with the main gate of the school can pass the current through them which can be extremely fatal since the main gate of your school is made up of metal so current can pass through it, uh, through it very easily right so it can be very uh, dangerous for all the people there then you leave a line and you write the closing statements now the final statements that i request you to take necessary steps in this regard and get the loose electric wires repaired and then you leave a line you write thanking you comma yours faithfully since this is a formal letter and i have also also made a video on signing off for formal and informal letters so you can go check that out too so i am writing yours faithfully your and my full name so your full name comes in a formal letter so this was the formal letter with proper spacing the proper format and how you go about starting and ending it so all of this i have covered now coming to informal letter so the question for the informal letter says you were a part of an organizing committee for an inter school event which was very successful you and the other committee members were congratulated and praised at the school assembly by the principal write a letter to your grandmother telling her about the event and your feelings at being recognized and praised in front of the school so this was the question that came in the 2017 english language paper now let's solve so uh, you don't have to write all this informal and formal letter this is only for your convenience that i am writing it you directly start from the address here so basically here you would start from the receiver's address and here sender's address so your own address in the informal letter so Uh, i have written my address here in a three line uh, in three lines over here then i leave a line and i write the date in the same format as i wrote here in the formal letter so 24th april 2022 and you again leave a line and then you write dear grandma um, or dear mother but here we are addressing it to the, uh, to the grandmother so we write grandma then 
uh, you come to the next line you do not leave any space you writing a paragraph and you telling her why you writing the letter the purpose of writing the letter again so i hope that this letter finds you well since this is an informal letter you would start like this right you're asking her and you know for her well being so recently i had the opportunity to organize the annual cultural fest in my school ullas so this is uh, why you writing the purpose you telling her something right now the next paragraph it was a 3 day long inter school cultural fest with a huge number of events ranging from painting to writing to spelling bee to dance and so on we had a huge participation from schools across the country and it was a huge success now uh, you are describing the event the ullas event the cultural fest event so you're giving the details about it now the next paragraph our school stood second in the fest overall and next day in the assembly all my team members and i were pre- appreciated for organizing the event so well it was indeed a great learning experience for all of us and this event helped us a lot to develop a sense um, of team spirit this is how uh, and now you conclude here so to conclude basically you leave a line and you write hope to hear, uh, hear you Uh, sorry hope to hear from you soon or you could also write um i look uh, looking forward to meet you in my summer breaks or anything like that and then you leave a line and you write uh, the signing off so yours lovingly here since it's informal and your first name only so this was informal letter now we've covered formal letter informal letter now we left with notice and email so notice and email was introduced uh, you know from 2019 onwards so i'm looking at the 2019 paper now so let's look at the notice question so the question says your school is hosting an inter school quiz competition write out a notice to be displayed in your school giving all details for the event so notice for your school inter school quiz competition so you don't have to write notice and on uh, again notice an email here it's again for your convenience so don't write that please you directly start with the title you write the title a catchy title so since it's a quiz competition i've written young chanakya since chanakya was very smart and all so then you write the actual event name that is inter school quiz competition and then uh, when is it happening uh, you know the date and where is it happening Uh, and uh, f- w- from what time and where it is happening the venue and all so how can you remember this uh, so you can remember d t v basically what is it d t v meaning the date the time and the venue so d t v you can remember an easy way to remember it then you write a small message for uh, the students who will see the notice the all interested students from classes 7 to 12 to give their names to mrs preeti sharma latest by 27th april 2022 and here you end your notice so you can see everything is center aligned only the message that you writing you start from the line here uh, here okay so that so this was notice now coming to the email part so let's read the a uh, question for email so write an email to the principal of a neighboring school requesting him or her to send a team of 3 members to participate in the quiz competition so you're addressing this to uh, the principal of a neighboring school so you write the email id of uh, the principal so i have written principal of uh, mayur school at the rate gmail.com and the subject comes directly below the email id you do not leave a line you do not leave space so inter school quiz competition comes you know just right below the email id then you leave a line and then you write the salutation that is dear sir and then you start writing the actual email that says our school is celebrating its silver jubilee this year as a part of the celebrations we are hosting a series of competitions beginning with young chanakya the inter school quiz competition so you are giving a background uh you know why uh, of the competition basically now from the next paragraph you write it will be held uh, now you're giving all the details about it right so it will be when will when it uh, will be held and where it will be held and all the other details required so it will be held on the 1st of may 2022 from 10 am to 12 pm in the auditorium of new college girls school then we request you to send a team of 3 students from classes 7 to uh, 7 to 12 to participate in the competition then you leave a line and to conclude um since you writing it to 
the principal of a school and you're inviting their uh, students for a competition so you can write we look forward to your school's participation in the competition or if it's some other topic then you can write uh, something related to that uh, to that then leave a line again after the concluding line and you write thanking you yours faithfully your full name and say like you're the school captain or you're the academic coordinator or you're the quiz um a secretary or whatever you know in your school the position any made up position it could be all right so this was all uh, all you know we discussed all the formats here with proper spacing on a line page and yeah so i hope you all understood this well and all the best for your exam